Hi, this is Roger in Finland, and today we're going to be talking about the DJI Pocket 2 from the point of view of a Pocket 1 or the DJI Osmo Pocket owner, like this one. As you might have guessed, I do not have the Pocket 2, so we're going to be comparing the specs with the Osmo Pocket, which I do have, and then talk about if you have one of these, should you be upgrading, at least from my point of view. And for the impatient ones, I'm going to say that if the main use for you and the pocket is vlogging and you like this kind of device, the form factor and this type of gimbal, then yes. Otherwise, probably not. But let's get more into details. So now let's go into some more details and let's start with the specs, especially sensor and optics. The sensor is upgraded from the tiny 1 over 2 thirds of an inch to a slightly less tiny 1 over 1 seventh of an inch. And that is a size which is fairly common in compact cameras. That means that the bigger sensor should have better low light performance and more control over depth of field, but still one over one seventh of an inch is pretty small, so don't expect miracles. The crop factor of the old one, this is a 5.6 crop factor, and the lens gives an equivalent field of view to 26 millimeters in full frame terms, and the lens is an f2, and then the new one, the Pocket 2, has a equivalent field of view to a 20 millimeter lens in full frame and the aperture it's a little bit more open at f1.8 because of that difference on crop factor effectively both devices have a lens which is about four and a half millimeters in focal length then because of the crop factor that translates into the 20 and 26 and certainly the new one lets a little bit more light into it so a bit bigger sensor letting in a little bit more light should have a bit better low light performance and a little bit more control at the field. Still, please don't expect miracles. Additionally to the wider field of view, now they are packing the new Pocket 2, at least in some of the configurations with a um, white lens adapter from DJI, while in the first iteration of the Osmo Pocket, you had to go with some third party options. And I think that's really cool, especially for the vlogging crowd, because it widens the field of view up to an equivalent of 15 millimeter which is fairly wide and i think it's going to be good for again vlogging personally i would want to want to vlog i never end up doing it so vlogging is clearly not my main use case and i actually prefer the little bit tighter field of view than the first iteration compared to the new one then one thing which i think is really cool it comes with the small accessory that has the joystick that you can control the gimbal and for the original Osmo Pocket you had to buy an extra device which actually was fairly big much bigger than this newer one with a little bit extra money and I think that based on the reviews that we've been seeing a lot of, a little a lot more fiddly to use and one thing that I appreciate very much because yet another accessory that I had to buy separately for the original Osmo Pocket is that it has a tripod mount hooray now it has an, actually it's a detachable one because of that do it all attachment that it also has a tripod mount, but now you do get a tripod mount out of the box. This is a device that one of the cool features that it has is that it does tracking pretty well. There's plenty of people that like to put it somewhere and then just have their videos walking around and this will track you automatically. So you have an automatic operator of the camera, which is quite cool, but you need to put the device somewhere, you need to mount it usually when you're taking videos or pictures, you mount things on a tripod. So having a tripod mount, excellent. I had to go with some, what is this? Ulanzi option, which works, it's fine. But I think that the new solution is much neater and much better. Then about the audio, it seems to have improved as well. The old one has two microphones, the new one seems to have four microphones. And in the Creator Super Mega Cool Kit, however it's called, it comes with a do it all accessory that it has a wireless microphone included in the kit, which is very nice, and also a 3.5mm jack if you want to put your lavalier or whatever else. In the older one, you had the option to buy the horribly ugly accessory that is plugged in the bottom with the USB-C that kind of sticks and it's uncomfortable, and I think that that was not great, so the new solution is way better. But just for comparison, now you're listening to me talking to this microphone that's a T-Bone EM800 into the Zoom H5, and now I'm going to change to the audio of the original Osmo Pocket, which I think was pretty good, given that you hold it correctly. So now that it's mounted here on this Ulanzi device, so that I can have a tripod mount 
I'm a bit afraid that I'm covering some of the microphones. But you tell me how it sounds. The new ones would sound even better. Then something that is actually truly cool, I think, and a clear improvement is the slow motion capabilities. Both do 4K 60. I expect better quality of the new one, but the new one goes up to 240 frames per second in full HD. And that gives for quite cool footage. I hope that the quality in that slow motion is also very good, but even if it isn't great, this is a little fun tool to have. So personally, because I mentioned before, I don't vlog even if I would want to want to, and I do prefer the tighter field of view. Even if the tripod mount is awesome, I have a kind of a workaround for the first iteration. The cool audio options are good, but again, my main usage is not the vlogging type, so I'm okay with this. That means that I will not be getting the new Pocket 2, because it's a little bit over 500 euros here in Europe. The cool creator kit that you get, the new stuff that you actually want if you would be a craving for this. And now, because of the Pocket 2 being released, the value of this just dropped dramatically. So selling this now would be, uh, well, I would be losing quite a lot of value and money. I will not be upgrading. But will you? I'm curious to hear if you guys that do not have the first iteration, are you going to be getting one? And especially curious if any of you that had the old one, will you be creating to a new one? And why? But I hope you liked the video, you found it somehow interesting and... Please like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon for some more content.